and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Howdy folks, I'm Bob Shrub, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Because we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Today we're going to talk about the best costochondritis self-treatment, no meds. We're going to have you stop that alarming chest pain. Right. Yeah, Bob, and this is something I can attest to because... I have costochondritis, didn't know about it for a while, and it is alarming when you have chest pain and you have to go to the, Very e scary. the emergency room to you find know, out. As I said before, Brad, as we start to develop things, which will be pretty much every week now as we get old, <laughs> we're going to go do videos on it, so that's all going to better for you. Right. We're going to figure out how to treat these things, and then we'll pass it on to you. That's right. By the way, if you're new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos how to stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. Go to also take a minute and go to bobandbrad.com and go to the giveaway section. We always have a contest for giving something away. This week we're giving away the Bob and Brad wall anchors. Wall anchors. The, the anchors that attach to the wall and you can attach, easily attach resistance bands to them. You got to check them out. They, they work really well. Yep, they're nice. Go to uh, Facebook. The contest will be pinned to the top of the page. Go to TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter if you want a 60 second version of our program. All right. Good job, Bob. Thank shall, you. shall we carry on? Let's carry on. All right. Costochondritis, it's a big word. It just means chest pain. But right. I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. So once you understand things a little bit with this type of chest pain, it makes it a little more uh, uh, easier and comfortable to treat. And not as scary. Right. Exactly. Uh, so costo refers to the ribs, the first right. part of the name. Uh, chondritis, itis means inflammation. And if we look at Sam, that's why he is here today to assist us. Uh, we got the sternum here. We got the white ribs here. We're going to look at this side because they get the colors out so we're not confused. Uh, and then this clear part right in here between the ribs and the sternum, there's actually a, a joint uh, typically made more of cartilage. But as we age, that can change a little bit, and we can actually develop some inflammation, some arthritic changes in there. Uh, and when things start moving and irritating that and get it more inflamed, it creates chest pain, and it can radiate out, not just in this area, but in my case, I feel it radiating on the right side, typically over this way. Um, and it changes your breathing because if it's bad, you get short of breath because it hurts when you take a deep breath. So your body automatically makes shortness of breath a symptom. So you've got all the classic symptoms of a heart attack. Uh, so the first thing you're going to do if you have symptoms is you're going to go see a doctor or go yes, to the absolutely. emergency room. Do not think that you're going to diagnose costochondritis by yourself. Exactly. You've you got to go in. You have to go to the typically the emergency room. You don't right. have time to go to the doctor and set up an right, appointment. Right, right. This is um, not something to I know because I tried that. Yeah, yeah sure. <laughs> no, actually, the first time was happened to me at midnight. I woke up with chest pain, uh, imme not immediately, but after some conversation with my wife, it wasn't too long and we were going to the ER. She's grabbing you by the ear right. and dragging I, you. I spent the whole night there. They had me on monitors, blah, blah, blah. The doctor says, your heart's very healthy. You have musculoskeletal symptoms. And I said, well, I'm a physical therapist. Can you fill me in a little more? Lay it, lay it on me. He said, we don't really know for sure what it is, but it's not your heart. It's musculoskeletal symptoms. You're healthy. You're done with us. Go on. <laughs> so anyways, his job was to keep me alive to make sure my heart was healthy, right. not to go through, you know, more detail. So I naturally went into this, looked into it much more thoroughly. Uh, but in the meantime, I did go to the doctor three times with chest pain, uh, to the ER each time diagnosed because I wanted to make sure, even though I thought I had right. costochondritis, I don't want to. You hear it. I mean, and uh, Brad, I'm glad you give this as an example here because I've heard it many times where people go in and they go, no, your heart's fine. Then they go, they had a heart attack next right, time. Right. So I, I think it was very wise for you to check it out for right. at least three times. And then along with that, I went to my regular doctor, then sent me up with a cardiologist. Sure. So to I make had sure. a very thorough assessment of my heart. Every time I went, they continue to say, your heart's healthy. We can't find anything wrong with it. Uh, it's muscular mechanical. 
I wish we could say that about your brain. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, my wife says that too. Yeah. Uh, But anyways, one thing you know about the rib cage, Brad. You know, it it, it's moving up and down. There's a lot of movement in that rib cage. There is. So, Uh, and one way you can test, um, and you know, the I had two or three doctors to do this to me. They they would start palpating right here, right over that area where the costal sternal joints are. And it would never really set me off until the third time I went in, the doctor was doing that and he left and he really didn't find anything. So I'm pushing and all of a sudden, right here, about the size of a dime, I hit a spot. Whoa! You found the spot. I found it. It's like, yeah. it's very specific. Um, but, you know, the idea is if you push here and it really makes it worse, that's an indication that it could be costochondritis. Now, I'm not being, for sure. Not for sure, but it's an indication. Yeah. Uh, so anyways, uh, since that point, I can remember uh, I had chest pain out mowing the lawn. Sure. And I'm riding, and I've already gone through all the doctor visits, ER visits, and everything. It's like, oh, man, this has got to be costochondritis. I'm not going in again. I didn't. It went away. It was fine. It happened to me at night once, and uh, then... I, I start doing some research on my own and I'm looking at some YouTubes and there's some other YouTube therapists that right. are showing these stretches and stretches like this, breathing, probably good exercise, but they never help me. Sure. As a matter of fact, the stretching, I think, kind of irritated it. It could irritate it. Yes. Finally, I found a therapist from New Zealand. New Zealand. Steve August. And he has a very thorough video on it, 15 minutes long. If right. you're not a therapist, it's gets a little boring because he goes through details about how the problem is back, back here. here. Yeah. And it's like, I, I didn't buy it at first. I, that doesn't make any sense. I thought it made sense to me right away. Well, of course, I, but yeah. I'm not that bright. And it kind of did, but I thought, I, I'm always skeptical. You sure. know me, Bob. Right. I, I never take anything face value until I prove it. Makes you a good therapist. Yep, I guess so. I don't know. But anyways, so I started his treatment. So basically what he's saying is tight back here. It's almost in here down. Right. And if it's tight back here... So the movement of the rib cage has got to come from somewhere. Right. So it gets hypermobile here. Right. So by loosening this, you don't put as much stress on the front, right. basically. Right. He, you know, he talks about the rib being like a handle on a right. bucket. They, Going they up move like this. up and down, up right. and down. And there should be a hinge on each side. If the hinge gets a little rusty, you know, analogy, uh, on one side, you need to break it up and get those ribs yep. loose again. So I'm a believer now. I, I uh, started out, he had... Excuse me, Sam, but you're, you're no longer needed. Um, here's the whole treatment. This is what you've been waiting for. You've been putting up for this babble for seven minutes. I think it's good to understand. Well, it is, Bob. It is. And, you know, it's our show, so we can take a little longer. I thought I'll use one of these because what Steve, he invented a, a device called a back pod for it. But it's like I have to order it. Well, that's work. I got to pay for it. They're kind of expensive. I thought I'm going to see if I can get something else to work. And I kind of did. I do use a six inch roller like this, but it doesn't get specific enough to those back joints. But you know, you can try this if you have one at home um, and it, it will do some uh, work and it's going to be good for your posture anyway. Right. It's not a bad thing for it's you. It's going to help you one way or another. Uh, then to get more specific to those rib joints, I tried a softball and that helped. That was a little more. Uh, That's you, really aggressive, though. Yeah, it is. You, you have to be careful. Um, yeah, I would say the average person is not going to be able to tolerate that. Brian. Well, I'm supporting weight through my sure. butt and through my elbow. And if I go all the way on it, it's very aggressive. So, yeah. But you can still, if you don't want to you know, get a back pod, I think you can successfully treat with this, but you're going to have to work at it and get... What you, what you do, why don't you stand up, Bob? Sure. Gonna He's going to show the area where he's placing it. Yeah. So we're working between the scapula and the spine right there. It's that muscle area, and that's where those ribs connect, connect to the uh, vertebra. And so I'm going to start uh, around your shoulders. I know you don't. There we go. It just makes it easier to show. I'm going to start here. I'm going to work up and down here, and then we're going to go here. And usually I do three places. High, middle, low, not necessarily in that order, but we get those three places. Um, and then I'm going to show you what you do with your arms and how you do it. But I am going to use the back pod because it really, I mean, it's 
that's why it's made specifically this shape. It works yeah, better. And again, it's it's really expensive, but if you look at there's two molds there, show the inside bread. I mean, this thing you could run a truck over and yeah, it's not gonna break it, down. Yeah, it, it's it's solid, it's built the way it's supposed to be built. Bob says it's expensive, but I spent you know, each emergency room visit right. was over a thousand dollars. You know, this is eighty dollars. Yeah, it's we make nothing. Cheap. I want to make sure everybody knows we make nothing yeah. off this. I, I just I become a big fan. I use it for posture all the he time. Does, yeah, you can use it for other things. Yeah, side joints. I, I'm to the point now, like I bring it to my cabin. Like if I miss a day, I start feeling that pain between the shoulder blades, and this takes it away. Right. So I mean, I, I, it's one of the few things that I would be loath to give up in my life. So here's how we both, Bob and I actually use it the same way. I'm doing it for my costochondritis. Bob Bob likes it for his uh, posture as well as his muscles in his back. It's a good way to get them loose. So I'm going to put it here. And this is my right side. This is where I always develop the chest pain. And I work this side a little more. And I go on there like this. And this is what Steve, the therapist who invented this, you know, I did this on a video once. And he, he emailed me the next day or a few days later. He said, you forgot to do your arms up and back right, like this. Yes, exactly. So, and I start to do that. A well, warning, if you've never used this before or you, if you're using the softball, take a towel like this and unfold it, whatever, layer it up, and then put that over. And also you may have a pillow under your head. Yep. You and a pillow, off. exactly. You, you may really have to blunt it first to start off yep. with. Because especially if you're a thinner person, yeah. uh, it'll be a, it'll feel a little aggressive. You know, I've been using it for quite a while. And I'd say after a couple of weeks of using this, I welcome it without anything. Right. But it, you did start with something. Oh, right? yeah, yeah. I used a towel. I remember you telling me it, oh, was, yeah. it was hard oh. on you. I just had a cavitation there. It'll make your joints pop a little bit and crack. This is the first thing I do in the morning. I do it actually while I'm doing hamstring stretches. You mean I, like right out of bed you get on? The- I get out of bed. I'm serious. And oh, I, I, go, I go to the, the first bathroom. Thing. First thing, wow. I, I, I get up. I go to the bathroom. I start stretching. And I put this thing behind my back. And I hit the six spots. Yep. And um. I used to have to like right before I did a run, I'd have to stretch my back out some more. Sure. But I this this does it for me. This is and I like I said, this has taken away the pain between my shoulder blades. So you know I, the thing I like about this, Brad, too, is that it, it comes with a booklet. Oh yes. And that we did what it was a 30 pages? 31. 31 pages. And it, it's really well written. Yeah. I mean, it goes over the posture things, it goes over a lot of things you can use this for. The costochondritis is that that book almost is worth ten dollars to me, Brad. Yeah. You know, it gives a good explanation. Are you having fun? I'm done. Oh, I just done. wanted to show how fast it is. I also treat my SI with it; it feels good. And he has a pot of uh, pasta on that. That's not, what I noticed my speech a today. A video Bob. on it. Yeah, got a yeah. He no, has a, he has a page in there. Oh, he has a page in there. Describing on it. I have not seen that for, for I think you mentioned it one time before yeah. on one of our videos for yeah. a second. Bob, so. our, our viewers are starting to get bored. The main, All right. the main thing is done. We, we showed how All to right. use the back. You, can, you got the alternatives. You can try other things if you don't want, want to pay, spend the money. But uh, remember, Brad and I can fix just about anything. Except for. A broken heart. There we go. Well, we'll get that fixed too someday. Thanks for watching. Boom, 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 boom.